of code. In this code, we have a do value that consists of a block of code and a condition. The block of code inside the loop will be executed at least once regardless of the condition. Let me explain. In this example, we we'll start with an empty variable called ice cream scoops, initialized to zero. Inside the loop, we print the message eating an ice cream scoop and then increment the ice cream scoops variable by one. After executing the code block, the loop checks the condition ice cream scoops less than 5. If the condition is true, the loop repeats and the kid keeps eating another scoop of ice cream. This continues until the condition becomes false. When we run this code, we'll see the kid eating ice cream until they have eaten a total of 5 scoops. So, the result is as expected. The do while loop is particularly useful when we want to ensure that a code block is executed at least once, regardless of the condition. It's like guarantee that the kid will have at least one scoop of ice cream before checking. If they are full, now, let's see how we can use a while loop to eat some ice cream scoops. In this while loop, we initialize a variable called ice cream scoops to zero. Then, we use the while loop to check if the ice cream scoops is less than 5. As long as this condition is true, the loop will keep executing the code inside. Let's run this code and see. Yes, the output is as expected. For ease of understanding, I have shown the comparison for while loop versus do while loop. In one screen, you can pause and check this for better understanding. In the first code example, using a do while loop, we also initialize ice cream scoops to zero. However, the do while loop executes the code inside first. And only after that, it checks the condition to see if the loop should continue. 
In the second example, using a while loop, we initialize a variable called ice cream scoops to zero. Then, the while loop checks if ice cream scoops is less than five. As long as this condition is true, the loop keeps executing the code inside. The crucial difference between these loops is that the while loop checks the condition before executing the code inside, whereas the do while loop executes the code first and then checks the condition. That's why in the do while loop, the code inside is guaranteed to run at least once, even if the condition is false initially. So, whether you use a while loop or a do while loop depends on the specific scenario and when you want the condition to be checked. Both the loops are powerful tools in programming and can help you make more dynamic and interactive applications. That's it for today's episode on Nova Loops. I hope you enjoyed learning about this loop. Please like, share and subscribe for more exciting coding topics. Happy coding and see you next time.